Hello everybody, welcome back to game number two of this arena run with Druid. We're shooting for seven and three at the worst. Hopefully we can get more than seven wins, but uh, off to a nice start so far, 1-0. This deck is a lot of just value creatures. Um, really not a ton of synergy. I only have a couple of taunters. I got decent removal, which did come in handy uh, last game. That Starfire came at a perfect time, or Starfall, excuse me. Um, but if you didn't see the first game, go ahead and go watch that now. It uh, had a pretty good ending, so pretty excited by that. Looks like we've got a worthy opponent coming up now for game number two. And it is going to be Garrosh, being played by Zosima. Hopefully for his sake, or for our sake, it's death for him. Right? Okay. Um, turn one play could be good if he plays something with only one toughness. He just replaced his whole hand, so he's going to have random, very random stuff. Definitely keep Wrath. Innervate, perfect. So we actually coin Innervate Keeper of the Grove if we want to. Or see what we draw next turn. Do the greetings. Oh man, coin, Innervate, Yeti. I do not mind that play at all. Let's see how Zosima, the warrior, deals with it. Greetings. That almost sounded like a sarcastic greeting, Garrosh. It's almost like you're not happy to see me at all. Go ahead and armor up, because uh, you're about to take a beating from this yeti. I actually don't mind waiting to play Elven Archer until I have a target. It's also something else for Flesh Eating Ghoul to have die while he's out so that he can uh, get bigger. Play something, Garrosh. Perfect. I can kill that with my Yeti. One shot, one kill. So far, so good. I could have played Ghoul and gotten him buffed to a 3-3. Three, three. He would still have a 1-1 one, one out, and who knows what he would do with it. Ooh. Cruel Taskmaster it. No, he wouldn't, because it would kill it. Heroic Strike. What a joke. Alright, thankfully we have this 4-drop right here, who likes to do 2 damage to things. So we're back in control. And we're up 10 life. I saw his mouse go over that armor earlier. Maybe he has a weapon? He keeps hovering over himself. I do mind if you roll need. If you roll need, I'm gonna be so mad. There's armor, okay. <laughs> I can stampede and just kill it, or I can wrath it. No, I want the body. I'll save wrath for later in case I need to do three damage with it. <laughs> Flesh eating ghoul, Argent Squire can come out next turn. He's gonna draw a card. He's got four mana oh, left. Ooh. He's gonna charge and hit it. And have Kodo trade? Nope, because Wrath is in my hand. The light protects me. This is working out okay. Looks like we do have the hand bug with swipe, which is terrific. We'll battle our way through that. Hopefully, when I draw a card, it'll just fix itself. I know it won't. It's so sad. Card bug. Swipe. Please get somewhere safe. I don't want to have to swipe. Especially when I. Well, I can silence it. Maybe it'll fix. Okie dokie. Damn. I really hate that bug. So it's pulling out swipe. Don't. I really don't want swipe. can starfall. Nice. That's really my only strategy when the hand bug happens is 
keep grabbing at it and hope it eventually works. Alright, now we're up by 22 life. Sorry, 21 life. I'm bad at math. I'm actually really good at math. I'm also a liar, I guess. <laughs> I've got five power on the board, including hero power. He's got three. I can swipe him to the face next turn. Get him down to three life if he doesn't armor up. Five if he does. Nice mortal strike. It's always good. Looks like his card options are not great. Probably gonna kill my Arch Spire. Okay. So he has regained board control. But he has lost his weapon. Bite is in there. I want to play the creature. Not swipe. Not swipe. Not swipe. Not swipe. Not swipe. Nope. Not, not swipe. Not, not swipe. I want the other one. I think I almost had it. Nope. Nope. Oh, look at that! I got it! Boop! I just want a body. Try and kill him. Give him something to swing at, use some cards. I could keep, keep a guy out there. Next turn I can do 8 and 9 damage with what I've got. I don't really have... I have Mark of the Wild? Mark of Nature. Ouch. Well, swipe helps with that. I do have to hit him in the face, though. Kind of hurts. But I'm protecting myself a little bit at the same time. Only taking four damage, thanks to my armor. don't like having no cards, so hopefully Ancient of Lore shows up, and we can draw two more. Or Cult, cult Master, assuming the Shield Bearer is going to die at some point. Try this. Do you call that Maybe one of those Wrath will show up. And I can get rid of that 3-3. Three, three. Power of the Wild. I could make a 1-3 and a 5-4. And I can hit for one extra. That'd be 7 damage to his 12 life. What to do? Yeah. Make a dude. Make him have to deal with my creatures by getting him super low. Not what you want to see here. For the wild. We're in rough shape here, guys. And gals. Yikes. Don't dislocate my mentality. Man, too little too late. Well played. I 
I have nothing to hit him with if I do if I kill Kobold against Weaponsmith. I'd be at nine health and he could not kill me next turn. I think I'm gonna go risky business. He's got this guy giving charge to things, so I really have no idea what he's gonna be able to play out. And I actually think raid buffs like Stormwind Champion and Raid Leader don't allow things to have charge. Oh, execute. That's it. Couldn't have known. Alright, so we're one and one. Oh well, game number two in the books. Pretty good game, nearly got him. Um, again, pretty average creatures, didn't draw enough removal there, and uh, ended up losing. So that's game number two. Let's move on to game number three.